have you guys seen all of these videos that are going viral lately of people just doing these really, really good lip syncs where they have like all of these different things that make all of these different noise and they like time it perfectly. They look difficult, but here's the thing. I think that if you do them well, they're going to make you famous. So I am going to try them out someday, just not today. Today's not the day for that. I'm so proud of that. Okay, I have to ask, are you an electrician? Because you're definitely lighting up my day. <laughs> it's so cheesy, but I love it and it's true. Hey you, it's Kyla Lou. And I know every single one of you who have tried to lip sync. Wow, the birds are being really loud outside. Anyways. I know every single one of you has tried this method, otherwise known as the redoing your TikTok for the 100th time because you still can't get it right and you've invested too much time to quit. But there's no hope of it getting any better. Method. Yeah, been there, done that. Difficult. But here's the thing, doing these really, really good lip syncs where they have viral lately, Doing me. They look difficult, but here's the thing: viral lately, of people just I did not say that right. These really, really good. Now that painstaking process of doing your lip sync over and over and over and over again until you get it right can work, and I've done it several times before. But here are the top three tips that I have for creating the perfect lip sync on TikTok without wasting hours of your life and happiness. Okay, so this first method, really easy, really simple. What we're gonna do is go ahead and create our TikTok. Awesome. And I'm going to go ahead and select the sound that I wanna lip sync to. So I'm gonna go into my sound library here and I actually have this sound saved in my favorites. I'm gonna click on this here and select the song so you guys can see it's selected up here. And now what I'm going to do, instead of filming it at 1x, which is the normal speed, I'm actually gonna select the 2x. Now, if this thing doesn't show up, you can select the speed up here at the top if it's not there, but we wanna select 2x. And what this is going to do is slow down our TikTok so I can actually hear the words if things are going really fast. It makes it really easy. Now. <laughs> My voice is cracked. Now, what you can do is just film your normal TikTok on this speed. If you're doing lots of movements, they are going to look faster, but you can just do that, or you can use it just to help you memorize the lip sync and then go back and film it in 1X. So let me show you guys what this looks like. So I'm gonna set the timer here and let's just do this here up until seven seconds. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, yes, absolutely. Okay, so you guys can see, slow down, okay? Now let's watch it. Right, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right, yes, absolutely. So you guys can see, like, the movements definitely look sped up, but I was still, like, kind of off with filming it, and it still looks pretty good and on point. So that is by far the easiest way that I've found to really help you speed up your time learning a lip sync. And again, you can film it at the 2X speed or just click on it to help you learn the lip sync and then go back to 1X and then film it. Okay, so this next one, break up the clips, helps make it so the video that you're trying to lip sync or the, the sound you're trying to lip sync a lot more manageable and not so overwhelming. So let me show you guys how this works. So again, I'm gonna go in and pick my sound. I'm just gonna do the same sound that I was using here and I'm gonna click the check mark. Actually, I'm gonna go back into this here and I'm gonna click the little scissors down and I'm gonna cut this audio so it's a little yes. bit more oh, okay. exciting talk. Okay, let's do that there. Awesome. And now what I'm going to do is instead of trying to lip sync it all and do it all in one clip is break it up. So I'm going to select the timer here. So I'm going to do those first three there and I'm going to move the pink bar. So it's going to stop recording at that time. And I'm just going to focus on those. So if I move it here, I'm just going to, oh, okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. okay, I'm just going to film that. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh.
Messed up at the beginning, but let's see how it looks. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, so, okay. yeah, I messed at the beginning, but you can see just because I'm focusing on that one clip, I now don't have to worry about filming the entire thing. So let's just do it one more time. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, awesome. Let's watch it. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Okay, awesome. So now I filmed that first clip. What I can do is then now focus on the next section. And what's also really beneficial about this method is you can change up your angle, which can make your videos more engaging and more exciting to watch. So if I want to go over here and kind of change up my angle, okay, let's do that. Okay. Right. Yes. <laughs> I just have so much fun doing TikToks. So now let's watch it. But see, okay, so I totally said the wrong thing for that first part, but now I don't have to go back and redo the whole thing. I can just redo that clip. Okay, right, yes. And you can zoom in and do all those things to make it more engaging, but let's watch it here. Oh, okay, uh-huh, uh-huh, okay, right, yes. So see, it can make it a little bit more engaging and again, I don't have to go back and redo the whole clip if I mess up at the very end. And it helps me focus on different clips and easily break it up so I can actually do the lip sync faster. And then again, I would just go back in right. here and do the rest if I wanted to or end the TikTok there. Okay, this last method, I do have my doubts, but I saw it while I was scrolling onto TikTok. So I thought I would share it with you guys and try to give it a try, okay? So this is the slight delay method. So what I'm gonna do is go here and to create a TikTok. Awesome, oh, my phone's delaying, awesome. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a sound. Now, there's a couple key things to make this work that I found. So if I go back here, I'm gonna use a sound. The sound has to be, let's see, I have my notes here. You have to make sure that the audio clip is at least 15 seconds long that you're going to use. Okay, so this audio clip that I'm going to use is 59 seconds. So that should be plenty of time. So I'm going to use that there. And what you do is you're actually going to record it using the timer, but you're going to talk slightly behind the audio. So then the point is that when you go back into edit it on TikTok, you can line up the clips. So you can essentially just listen to it, repeat it, and then line it up. So let me see if I can show you guys this. <gasps> I'm actually gonna trim this sound a little bit. So let's do that much. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. 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 Right. Bear with me here. Okay, so then I'm, now I'm gonna click the check mark and my TikTok here, I'm gonna turn this down for a second. My TikTok right. is still like right. updating for the most part. Most of my videos have the new studio editing app, but right here you can right. see I still have the right. adjust clips. If you guys want to learn how to use the new studio TikTok editing app, I have a video right. on that, so right. I'll make sure to link that down below. But it should be the same principle, okay? So basically we've got to just right. cut right. the first part of our video and then line it up. Okay, so let me show you guys. Oh, what the heck? I clicked adjust clips and here's the studio. Okay, awesome. So I'm gonna just drag this beginning piece of my video right. to see if I can get it to line up. Right. Mm-hmm. 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 Right. Okay, so there you guys can see and the audio here at the end, I need to cut it there. But I was delayed so I could just listen to it and then I line up the audio by cutting the my video to line up with the audio so then it lines up here. Right. That's so funny. TikTok completely bamboozled me by being like, this is the adjust clips button and boom, the new studio. So there you guys go. That's how to use this in the new studio. But that can be a method that you can use. From the small testing that I've done on this, it doesn't really work when you're doing lip syncs with a lot of like fast audio, a lot of fast talking. I found that I have a difficult time doing that because I it starts going so fast that I start forgetting what the clip was and so then I'm off. But you can certainly try it. If you're doing more slower lip sync clips, 
clips and you just want to be able to get it done really fast, you can do a slight delay. You don't even have to memorize it or like listen to it. You can just set it up and just repeat what you're hearing and then line up the audio with it. So there are definitely some flaws with this method, but can be really nice if you're working on doing lip syncs with slower audios is what I found. The last tip that I have for you guys, a little bonus tip for you, is when you're filming lip sync videos and maybe you're doing a more challenging lip sync that's gonna take you a little bit longer to learn and master while you're filming, is save multiple drafts of the video. So if I go here into my drafts, you can see these two videos right here where I'm wearing the purple shirt. I'm doing the exact same thing in those videos, but if you, you film a video, you're lip syncing, you're like, mm, that's almost on just save it, okay? Because you never know, things could start going downhill, maybe you're getting really tired, you're frustrated, and so that's gonna be the best version that you've got. It may not be perfect, but it's pretty close. Just start saving multiple drafts once you start getting to that point where you're like, oh, like it's almost there, I like it, and then you can kind of compare between your drafts later and decide which one you like best because I have had this happen to me so many times. When I'm filming a lip sync, I'm like, oh, that's just, you know, it's not quite right, but it's pretty good. I'll delete it and then all of a sudden I like, I'm really struggling. I'm like, dang, like I just really wish I had saved that one or like, why did I delete it? Just save it to your drafts. You can always delete them later. To do that, you just go up here to the right hand corner, click select and you can select which ones you want to delete so it's really easy to delete them but it's good to save them just in case you're like you know what i'm actually going to just end up using that one so there you guys go hopefully those are a couple tips for you guys so you can create your tiktok lip sync videos just a little bit easier if you guys found any value in this video don't forget to like and subscribe because it really does help support my channel so much and as always if you guys have any questions don't hesitate to drop those down in the comments below i do my best to read and respond to every single comment thank you guys so much for spending your time here with me today and i will catch you on the next video bye dudes Cause I've been